Hey guys, what's up? This is Eddie. Uh, welcome to another Visual Basic Programming tutorial. Uh, by the time you get to this tutorial, you should be quite familiar with for loops, uh, as well as uh, buttons and variables and list boxes and things like that. So we're going to build on that and today we're going to introduce you to the concept of arrays and I'll just show you what this program does so actually I should give this program a title I'm just gonna put a label at the top saying that this is a uh, grocery store magic monks grocery store prices right, I'll uh, make the size of this uh, label the font a bit bigger so you can see it more clearly alright so basically what happens with my program is uh, it's my grocery store I'm gonna firstly input some data and it's gonna show up in my list box and then I also have a button that allows me to increase all the prices of my uh, groceries by 10%. So I'm going to input some data. So the first item I'm going to sell in my store are apples. And they cost, um, let's just say, 90 cents. Um, then I have oranges, cost uh, 40 cents, and bananas, costs uh, $2. So it shows up in my price list, and then when I press the increase prices by 10% button, it'll go ahead and increase all of these prices by 10% so let's click on that and you should see the two dollars turn into two dollars twenty ninety cents turn into uh, ninety nine cents and so on so let's click and yes it's indeed increased it by ten percent and if you keep clicking it'll keep increasing it by ten percent of its current price and so it's a pretty handy function uh, to have where it increases all of these prices by 10% and to do this you need to utilize the concept of a race so let's have a look at the programming inside this program so let's have a look at the code okay so firstly I have declared two arrays so what is an array basically an array is like a list box it is a list of objects inside one single array so basically you can think of it as a table with cells and this is a table with three cells and uh, every cell is going to contain the an item uh, an object of the variable type string so you can store three separate names in this array and uh, each one is going to be a string and I've called it called the array item name because it's going to store the name of the items that I sell and then I create a second array which is which is a second group of objects of the type single which means uh, a decimal a single precision floating point number so it can store a number with decimal points and it's called item price and it's going to have three slots so I can store three prices 
Okay, so let's have a look at the button that I have programmed, which is called input data. So what is the command executed when I run, when I click this button? Well, firstly, I have a variable called i, and it is an integer variable that uh, has an initial value of 1. And I have used a for loop. So i is going to go from 1 to 3. So starting from i equals 1, it's going to execute these commands. So when i is equal to 1, the first uh, item uh, in my array item name, I'm going to acquire the name of my first item through the use of an input box. So the input box is a function that um, creates a message box on the screen and lets the user type in some information. So the output of this function will be whatever the user types into the message box. And that information is going to be stored in the item name array in that first cell when i is equal to 1. And the same thing is going to happen to item price. So it's going to store the price that I enter for that item into the array item price into that first cell. And then we're going to add the two pieces of information into the list box through this command here. And uh, so by typing all of this, um, it, when I click the button, it's going to run through the for loop three times, fill in the three cells, uh, or I should say six cells, three in each array through the user's input, and it's going to generate the output to the list box. Now, what happens when I click the second button where it says increase prices by 10%? Well, firstly, I'll clear the list box. And then I'm going to use the for loop again. So when i is going from 1 to 3, the item price, the array, whatever is in that uh, i position, I'm going to multiply it by 1.1. So I'm going to multiply the price by 1.1, which is going to increase it by 10%. And then I'm using the math.round function to round the price to two decimal places. If I don't do that, then it's going to give me a price that has a lot of decimal points. And then I'm going to re-add the item name and the item price to the list box. Okay, so hopefully uh, you guys have a better understanding of how my program works. I'll see you again next time.